welcome to my very first line tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to start a line scaling. But before we start, I would like to tell you a little about myself. So, my name is Frank and I'm an inline skater who so much loves skating. Because of that, I want this sports to grow and become popular. So I started teaching people about inline skating. And because of that, I will show you how to start inline skating. So, let's learn a new thing, let's have fun. Well, you may have seen other inline skaters skating outside there and you really want to learn inline skating because you like the way they skate. But how to start, you don't know what to do. You don't know how to start. Because of all these reasons and for other reasons, I will show you how I started inline skating from my very first beginning. So let's get started. First, there are different kinds of skating to learn. There is the simple fitness skating, the free skating, the slalom skating, the aggressive skating and more others. But in all of these, I recommend we start with the simple fitness skate or the free skate. Because while learning inline skating, the first important thing that comes to our mind is to practice and learn the basics of inline skating. Which while learning, we don't need a pair of very expensive inline skate. So we would practice, practice and practice. Then, immediately we are done learning the basics of inline skating, this is the moment we just think we need another pair of inline skates. In this pair, the next pair of inline skates should describe the kind of skating you love doing, and I mean, it should match with our skating type and style. Moreover, by getting our skate, we all know we need the one which match with our foot size. Okay, but... How can we put on our hairline skate in the right way? While putting on our skate, our foot should be in the center of our skate. And we make sure that our skate is tight on our foot, but not too tight. Secondly, I would like to say that while getting our skate, it's very necessary that we get our protective gears because nothing is more worse than an injury guarding at which we are not able to skate for a longer period of time. And while standing on our skate, our wheels are point straight towards the ground. To proceed, I think it's time to learn the proper posture for skating. But before we start, I would like to mention that the proper posture for skating is the most important starting point for every inline skating beginner to practice and learn inline skating. So let's begin. First, we wash out for a flat level ground, put on our skate and stand on the ground. Then we keep our skate parallel to the other and keep one further in front than the other. We also don't forget to check out which leg is best as our leading leg. But while keeping this foot position, we try to keep our knees bent and while bending our knees, we pay attention that we push our knees over our toes. Because should we not push our knees over our toes, we would automatically lose our balance and fall down towards the back and this will be as a result of stretching our butt towards the back and we don't want that to happen. So, we try to push our knees over our toes. Because of that and for a better result, we continue practicing this posture until we've mastered the proper posture. But after a short extent of time, we will see that this posture is the proper posture which prevents us from falling backwards. At this point, I think it's time to learn how to skate forwards. So, we want to learn the most used way to skate forwards. 
So we stand up on our skate, keep our knees bent and start walking forward with the very small steps like you see in the video. The reason why is because when we keep our skate in this foot position, we won't move if we don't want to. Next, we start moving forward. For the very first time, this can be difficult to do. But I promise that after a short extent of time, you will feel comfortable doing so. But to become comfortable for the very first time, we can just put on our wheels without the spacers as well as to mount the worst bearings we have. But as soon as you've done that before practicing, we can then continue. So we continue by moving forward in that way. But while moving forward, we keep on blocking our skate using the other one. And we continue this until we feel comfortable doing so. And the moment we find it easy, we will start increasing our steps. As soon as we start making bigger steps, we will start keeping our feet in the air for a longer period of time. And this is the moment we will change our movement from walking to skating. And as a result, we will find it easier to skate. So, we will see that we've just started skating. Good, at this point, we've learned how to skate forward and other important things. Well, there are a lot more to learn from inline skating. But what do you think is the next thing to learn? In my opinion, I recommend to learn how to fall safely before learning other things like how to brake and stop, how to jump, how to turn, and how to skate on only one foot before getting started. But why? This is because learning how to fall safely allows us to learn inline skating quickly with much fun and without being scared. It is also necessary that we learn other things like different ways to skate forwards, different ways to skate backwards which we will learn together when we meet again in my other video. Because all these bases are very necessary to improve our balance and skate safely. So I hope I could help you guys learn inline skating and if so, subscribe for more to not miss any upcoming video. And let's make progress together. But should I could not help you, just leave me a comment, ask me questions and I'm sure your questions will be answered because my aim is to make inline skating grow and become popular. Thanks for watching. Don't hesitate to like and subscribe if you want to learn a lot more. Finally, may we not forget why we all started skating, and that is because skating is all about having fun and enjoying ourselves. So, this is all I have to say for today. Have a very nice day. Bye guys.